In the first case of its kind in Texas, five women are suing the state, claiming its abortion ban puts them in danger. Texas is one of 12 U.S. states with the most restrictive new laws since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Janet Shamlian spoke to one of the plaintiffs who says she was not allowed to claim a medical emergency. My heart broke into a million pieces. Anna Zargarian was only 19 weeks pregnant when her water broke. Her doctor told her she had almost no chance of carrying her baby to term, and her own life was threatened. My doctor put it was like, it's a 50-50 shot that you'll get an infection, but a less than 1% shot that you're going to leave this hospital with a baby. Texas doctors told her they couldn't perform an abortion, like it... so she traveled to Colorado. What was that like to have to leave Texas, your home, to have this done? Just terrifying. I felt like a shell of a human, but I was just like, you know, wrapped up in grief. Zargarian is now one of five women suing the state of Texas over its abortion law. It is now dangerous to be pregnant in Texas. After the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade last summer, a state trigger law banned abortion unless a woman's life is at risk or the fetus has a fatal diagnosis. And doctors who provide the procedure outside those limited circumstances face the possibility of life in prison. We were honored to work uh, on the Texas Heartbeat Act. John Siegel helped that trigger law get passed. He says doctors need more education on what qualifies as life-saving. Texas law does not require for a woman to be at death's door to enact and, and to, to involve, get involved and actually save that woman. The lawsuit asked the court to clarify medical exceptions. Zargarian says she wants that for other women and eventually a healthy baby for her family. Do you have hope to try uh, again? Um, you know, I do. Uh, but at this point in my life, it's just really terrifying to think about getting pregnant in Texas again. This suit comes as a federal judge in Texas is expected to rule soon on a case challenging the FDA's approval of the common abortion drug mufepristone. That ruling could impact access even in states where abortion is protected. Gail. All right. Got it, Janet. Thank you.